हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग रिकरेंस रिलेशन प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी स्टार्टिंग विद द न्यू टॉपिक रिकरेंस रिलेशन एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम बिफोर गोइंग अहेड लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय अ रिकरेंस रिलेशन फॉर दैट पर्पस अ प्रॉब्लम इज गिवन टू अस a n is equal to 4 a n minus 1 plus 5 a n minus 2. This is called a recurrence relation, or you can say recursive function. Why? Because a n is represented with the same function a n only, but past two values. That is n minus 1, n minus 2. So a n is represented with the same function a n with the past values. So the problem will be something like this in the exam. Therefore, it is called a recurrence relation. now in for solving the recurrence relation there are two possibilities either you can get two different roots uh, you can get two roots or you can get three roots now let's talk about two roots the roots may be same or they may be different if the roots are different this is your solution if the roots are same this is your solution here the roots are s1 and s2 here the roots are same that means only one root since the root only one root we have U s raised to n plus v n s raised to n. See the format that uh, uh, we are using here. Here it is n raised to zero. Here it is n raised to one. And here there are two different roots. Suppose there are three different roots. Again the same category. Three roots, different roots. S one, S two, S three. So extension U s one raised to n, v s two raised to n, and w s three raised to n. And suppose we have same root, only one root. So that will be U s raised to n. V n is raised to n here n n raised to zero here n raised to one now n is square so W n is square s raised to n see here so you need to remember this particular solution if f of n is given then f of n is not compulsorily uh, will be there in the problem if it is there then your solution is a n h plus a n p in that case this becomes your a n h and for finding a n p this is the table. it depends upon the function if the function is r raised to n then a n p is a r raised to n and if the function is c or a constant you can say then a n p is a so this is the whole story so we just uh, discussed uh, uh, what is there here uh, just a formality i know uh, you didn't understand anything so just don't worry with the help of example it will be very clear so let us start our problem is to solve this particular recurrence relation As discussed, I have explained you why this is called recurrence relation. N n minus one, n minus two. A n is represented with the help of the same function a n, but previous two values. Therefore, it is called a recursive function. Here, there is no f of n in the problem. No f of n in the problem because only a n terms are there. When f of n will be there, uh, I'll tell you later on. As of now, in this problem, there is no f of n. Let's take all the terms to this side. A n minus four, A n minus one, minus five, A n minus two equal to zero. Now what we're going to do? We're going to convert this equation into quadratic equation in terms of x. So here x raised to zero. Here I'm going to write it on x raised to one and x square. X raised to zero, x raised to one, x square. With a of n minus two, we have minus five. So minus five will come here. With this term, we have minus four, and with A n the coefficient is one. So in short, the equation is x square minus four x minus five equal to zero. So this is the equation that we got. Now we're going to solve this equation to get the roots. If you solve this equation, the two roots that I'm going to get is x equal to five and minus one. You put in calci and you will get these two roots. X equal to five and x equal to minus one. Now we got two roots. Now please tell me what is the solution. See here, for two roots we have two possibilities. With the roots can be different or roots can be same. Here there are different roots. See here, the roots are different. Therefore, what is the solution? Therefore, solution is a n is equal to u s one raised to n plus v s two raised to n. So this is the solution. Let us put s one and s two in this problem. S one is the first root that is phi. And s two is the second root that is minus one. Obviously, you can interchange s one and s two, so no problem. So this is my required solution. It's almost done. We just need to find it out the values of u and v. If we get it, the work is done. See, 
if this is the problem given if only this much problem is given we got the solution that's it done but let me extend this question with a few modification and here what we're doing is let us let us make this problem a1 is equal to 2 and a2 is equal to 6 so this is my problem now i modified my question see if initial conditions are not given we are done with the problem are you clear with this are you clear with this if initial conditions are not given we are done with the problem there were two roots we got the solution but if initial conditions are given it is not necessary always will be given it may be given it may not be given therefore initially i didn't take and uh, and we solved the problem and after that we took it so if it is given we need to find it out u and v and how to find u and v now it's very simple see here what is given a1 therefore we're going to put n is equal to 1 and we're going to put n is equal to 2 why if you put n is equal to 1 in this particular equation this will become a1 is equal to u phi v minus 1 if you put n is equal to 1 in place of n i'm going to put 1 and what is a1 a1 is a 2 so this is 2 is equal to phi u minus v so this is the first equation and if you put n is equal to 2 here this will become a2 u into 25 plus v into 1 so in short if you put a2 here this is 6 25 u plus v this is equation number 3 now why we substituted n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 because we are provided with the values of a1 and a2 suppose we are given a0 and a1 initial conditions can be anything suppose we are given with a0 and a1 in that case we are going to put in place of n as 0 so that this will become a0 and this will become a1 and a0 a1 values are provided in the problem are you clear with this why we substituted n is equal to 1 and 2 blindly don't put n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 please check which conditions are given suppose you have 3 and 4 is given so what are you going to do in that case you're going to put n is equal to 3 and 4 now we are ready with both the equations 2 and 3 we need to solve these two equations simultaneously so if you solve you you will get u is equal to 4 by 15 and v is equal to minus 2 by 3 we got both the values let us substitute this u and v value in the expression put in 1 and we'll get the value of a n so that value is 4 by 15 phi raised to n plus or in short it is minus 2 by 3 minus 1 raised to n so this is your required solution if initial conditions are given so this is one more variation of the problem what is the first basic problem without the initial condition so what is the solution this is the solution if it initial conditions are given you need to identify you need to find it out the values of u and v and this is the procedure to get u and v and we are ready with the solution there is one more variation and what can be the next variation along with this problem a function can also be given so let us discuss that possibility here there is one more possibility and the possibility is along with this problem a function may be given so that we're going to discuss in the next video for this particular uh, video we are done with the first problem a problem with initial condition hope you understood uh, we're done with it thank you